Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from Group G. I are going to present to you our report on the critical readings on journal articles. So our topic is the behavior of panic buying during COVID-19. So what is panic buying? Panic buying is the action of unusually buying large quantities of particular product or commodity due to sudden fears of a forthcoming shortage or price rise. This action is very common to happen during economic recession, post-natural disaster or health crisis such as COVID-19 that is currently attacking the world. So why are we choosing this topic? We are choosing this topic because this situation is currently happening in our country recently after the government announced the implementation of the third movement control order. Thus, we thought this topic is very suitable and interesting to be studied as it is a current issue happening around us. After agreeing in choosing this topic, we have decided to take these five articles that you can see on the slide. Which is the first one is the psychological causes of panic buying following a health crisis in International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health by Kum Fayuan et al. The second article is the determinant of panic buying during COVID-19 in International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health by Chris Chua et al. The third article is the responsible factors of panic buying and observation from online media report in Frontiers in Public Health by Arafa et al. The fourth article is the study on panic buying behavior toward grocery during COVID-19 and to identify the factors responsible for panic buying in Journal of Management Volume 4 by Prof. Nazia Jahagitar. So the fifth one is the COVID-19 pandemic factors triggering panic buying behavior among consumers in Malaysia in Labuan Bulletin of International Business and Finance by Hanifa Muklis Ghazali. First and foremost, all five articles begin the introduction with describing the changes in consumer spending behavior during COVID-19 outbreak. COVID-19 becomes a current global pandemic that creates massive heart and economic impact on almost every country in this world. Consequently, this uncertain situation has led to unprecedented levels of money buying worldwide. Therefore, those five articles have the same research objective, which is to identify the factors that lead to panic buying among the consumers during COVID-19 pandemic. As for the factors reviewed, Article 3 and 5, the authors can find past papers that includes most factors studied. Article 5 displayed five factors that had been researched. The factors are hurt behaviour, social media, uh, social media exposure, anxiety, price, and product availability. Um, article 3 authors uh, find that the paper has four crucial factors. The factors are mostly the same uh, as to Article 5. Uh, this also goes to, same goes to Article 2 and 4, where they review uh, fewer factors in their literature. Uh, one of the similarities is the factor perceived scarcity. Uh, this factor is reviewed in all articles uh, except Article 1. Uh, anxiety and control are also a factor reviewed in Article 3, 4 and 5. Um, meanwhile, only Article 4 and 5 uh, reviewed media influence as a factor of panic buying in their literature review. Next, I will proceed with the method used in these articles. The first article used a systematic review based on the past literature. This article used four stage methods which include define search keywords, refine search results, presented a descriptive statistics, and identified research themes. The second article used a survey method by distributing 508 questionnaires to customers in Singapore. The survey applied the checklist for reporting results of Internet e-surveys framework. Then, for the third article, the researchers conducted a prospective examination of 18 internet search engines that they have identified. They examined English language media reports that discuss various aspects of panic buying and reported it in a simple descriptive statistic table. The fourth article used an empirical study and convenience sampling method in conducting a survey. This article also used a secondary data that obtained from Consumer Behavior Book and Google Links. The correlation of the factors in this study were evaluated using bivariate correlation analysis. The last article used a conceptual framework to analyze the factors that cause panic buying among Malaysian consumers. Overall, 
The second and the fourth article both use the same method, which is survey or questionnaire. For the other article, all use a different method that suitable to answer the objective of the study. We will continue with the findings and results. For the first article, this research paper suggests that panic buying is influenced by many factors, which is the first factor, the, perspe the perceptions of individuals of the threat of health crisis and scarcity of the product. The second one is fear of the unknown, which is caused by the negative emo emotions and uncertainty. The third one is the coping behavior, which views panic buying as a venue and event to relieve anxiety and retain control over the problem and crisis. And the last one for this article is social psychology, which accounts for the influence of the social network of individuals. For the second article, it was discovered that the effect of health belief model components such as perceived susceptibility and perceived perceptibility is partially mediated by the cost by the customer's perception of product scarcity. Consumers' anticipation of regret mediates the effect of perceived scarcity on the panic on the panic buying. The third article shows that a sense of scarcity was reportedly found to be the most important responsible factor of panic buying, followed by increased demand, product importance, price high anticipation, and COVID-19 and its related factors. The rumor was mentioned as a contributing factor. As a psychological factor, the evaluated self-criticity in behavior, uncertainty, anxiety, reduction, and take to control. Other reasons mentioned were social learning, a lack of faith in the government, and previous experience. For the fourth article, it found that there is a link between the respondents' income and the rise in the number of food purchased, implying that panic buying behavior is noticeable in situations where income is high. Based on the respondent's answer, we can agree the well, the respondents mostly agree that fear leads me to buy products to stock at home is the reason for their rise in the food purchase. The second reason is they may be a shortage of the things that I need. The third reason is lack of clear information on food security, and the last reason is they follow other people's intent, other people's buying behavior. The majority of respondents panic shopping because they believe they need to stock up on food stuff, produce and deliver free packaged food, Ayurvedic medicine, soap, cosmetics, and other items. And for the last article, it is found that the findings are based on the review of the existing literature relating to consumer buying behavior. Based on the previous studies, the cost of any buying during, during the COVID-19 outbreak was due to the herd behavior, social media exposure, anxiety, price, and product availability. Okay, so, okay, so uh, for the conclusion segment, according to all my friends' explanation uh, from the previous, we can found that the findings from all five articles answered the research question. And we can also conclude that there are various types of factors that influencing the panic buying. This is because since all the five articles uh, study and explain on different factors and different variables on this topic, but um, among those five articles, we can find four most found factors, which are the first one is a sense of perceived scarcity of products, and the second one is anxiety sensitivity, the third one is fear of the unknown, and the fourth one is social media exposure. And so this, uh, these four are the most found factors uh, of panic buying. Okay, the next one is um, the, this research on panic buying uh, benefits to two authorities, authorities, which is the first one is government. Okay, government as a policy maker uh, can monitor the situations and make sure the panic buying is controllable. And government also need to ensure the price stability, especially for necessary goods. And the next one is government also must prepare strategy and necessary action if any crisis strikes. And the second one is for the researcher, the future researcher. Okay, the future researcher can design and extend the current research 
for a better understanding of this topic which is penyanyi. So that's all from our group. Thank you.